The hardest part of Liaden is getting started. It's an absolutely confusing game to log into. There's not a lot of explanation of what all the items do, what all the interfaces do, and what affects what. I've always thought that when I start a new game, it's incredibly helpful to find out what other users do in their typical gaming sessions. I've been getting questions lately, specifically related to getting started on Liaden, how to play the game. So here we go, today I'm gonna walk you guys through everything that I do on Liaden. The first thing I do on Liaden is send some lionesses hunting. I do this consistently, so when I log in, the first thing I should do is receive my hunting party, and then I'll turn around and send my lionesses to hunt. This takes 30 minutes, so I try to do this as soon as I log in, just so I don't waste any time that I could have a hunting party in action. After I send my lionesses to hunt, I'm going to send out a submail to patrol. You can access patrolling from the explore page. It's immediately to the right of the exploring tile. You will select a mail to send patrolling and then you'll select the tiles you want him to patrol on. He'll either get experience points or he'll come back with some items. Either way, I don't find it nearly as important as I find hunting, so I do this second. It takes 15 minutes for this action to complete, and then there's a 15 minute cooldown before you can assign a new submail. So I do this hunting patrol, hunting patrol, hunting patrol in the sessions that I'm playing. After hunting and patrolling, I send the alpha lion out to territory. You can access territory by going to the explore page and the territory options right between hunting and patrolling. You'll be presented with a bunch of tiles and you'll be able to attack their lion with the goal of getting some kind of reward. You get to pick from the drop down list which reward you want. I'm at the point where I can only pick experience or skill. This takes 20 energy and has an hour cooldown before you can participate in another territory attack. I do all of those actions first because they're very time sensitive. You're gonna do hunting, patrolling, and territory multiple times in a very long gaming session if you're playing for longer than an hour. So I just try to knock those out very first thing so I'm not wasting any time while I'm on Liaden. The next thing I'm gonna do is just some basic keeping track of my lions and taking care of them so they don't run away. I know this is probably the point where a lot of people will go straight to explore so they deplete their lion's energy. However, I just wanna make sure that I'm keeping all my lions before I even go out to explore. Plus who knows, I might wanna breed with some of my lions so I don't wanna waste all of my energy. First, I just wanna get a good assessment of how all my lions are doing and making sure that they're not gonna run away. Right now I'm in my horde and I am feeding my lions with the carcasses that I've previously hunted and explored for. I tend to go to the stacks and I get rid of the oldest food first. I will also go straight to the expiring tab and feed directly from there just so I'm getting rid of all of the oldest food before I move into the newer food. And this is just to keep my lions fed and happy. Great, now that I know my lions aren't gonna go on strike or run away from home, we're gonna head out to exploring. And this is accessible from the explore page to the explore page to the explore region that your lion is leveled up enough to go to. I always go to the highest level region that I've unlocked and then I run through the explore options to de try to deplete my energy down to about 20%. I don't wanna completely lose my energy exploring because I possibly wanna breed with some of my lionesses, but I also wanna do knock that down. The energy regenerates every 15 minutes, I think. I think it does like 5% every 15 minutes. I'm going to fast forward this. I've been fast forwarding everything a little bit, but especially this session, I promise you, my computer does not load this fast. My standard exploring philosophy is fight everything and try to get stuff and there's not really much more to it than that. I just want to fight so I can get more experience so I can level up because hey, I think that's kind of cool. After completing some exploring, we're going to do the most tedious part of the day, which is interacting with every one of my lions. You don't have to do this. You can complete all of this the same basic outcome by feeding and using toys to play with your lions. But what I'm doing is I'm going to each individual lion's page and choosing the grooming option. And then if they need to be fed additionally or if they need to be played with additionally, doing it on that page 
just because you might get a little bonus from grooming. You never know, they might get some skill. It's just a good way to stay in touch with what lines you have and what plans you wanna make for them. So this is something that I may not necessarily do every day, but I definitely do once a week. And I think it would help you a lot if you do this every day, if you have a longer session to play Liaden. At this point, we're probably at about the 20 minute marker. So I've sped it up to this point, but probably about 20 minutes has gone into this gameplay up to this point. I'm not going to do a lot of daily activities that some people might prioritize. Feel free to comment below if you're seeing like a glaring oversight. I know that there is the games section that you could play, but I'm just trying to basically at this point keep my account running. So that's why I prioritize these things in these order. I know there's also questing and there's slot machines. Those things are all great. I don't really know how important they are in the grand scheme of things, but if there's something besides those things I'm missing out on, definitely let me know in the comments. I didn't want this video to last a full half an hour. I wanted to get really to the meat of what should be happening during a light and play session. So when you're interacting with these individual lions on their pages, you're making sure they're fed and they're happy because a hungry lion or a sad lion will be able to leave your lair they will be able to actually stop being your possessed lion and go somewhere else. And I don't want that to happen. So I take care of them. And if you groom them, they get skill or stat boosts. And that's beneficial because skill helps the lion overall and stat is hereditary. So you want to pass that on to future lions. So you want to cultivate it with the lions you have. So that's why I do that. By clicking on event at the top of the page, you'll go to the event page. Depending on whatever the event is, you may wish to participate in those activities. Just read through the dialogue and it should tell you what to do. Up to this point, we've been focusing on the lions, but let's shift gears and talk about beetles. The beetles are actually a mini game on Leiden. You can find beetles while you are exploring. They will be in mounds. In your den, you can access them by going to your mound. While they're larvae, you need to feed them otherwise they will die you just feed them herbs that you find around but you could also buy the herbs just to keep your guys alive if you don't have any go out and buy some i take care of them you go to the page just like a lion and you could feed them from there you could also level up from there if your beetle is about to level up you can train them at the beetle training grounds. You have options for different tasks to send them out on and they will either succeed or fail. If they succeed, they will either get experience boost or a stat boost, which may contribute to an overall level increase. And then every 15 minutes, you can send your beetles out to fight, much like the territory or the patrolling game. It's a 15 minute cooldown. So if you really prioritize this mini game, you might wanna do it as soon as you log in. But honestly, I deprioritize it. It's not nearly as important to me as the lions are. There is like a smaller economy around trading these beetles and taking care of them and getting the rare ones. When the beetles die, their shells enter your inventory and you can craft with them. So some are more rare than others and you could breed them, which also gives way to the whole rarity game. There's like a whole setup about the beetles that I'm not really into, but I know a lot of people are and I think it's a cute little mini game that they added. All right, it's been 30 minutes since we last checked in with our hunting party, so we'll go ahead and check in on that. And it's time to send out a new hunting party. This means that we've been playing for 30 minutes, half an hour, and we're ready to send out new lionesses to hunt. I'll vary my hunting party a little bit, but not too much, and then send them out again. And then that means it's time to do the whole patrolling thing again. The patrolling is still on cooldown, so then I'm gonna go back to my den and check over some more things because I have a little bit of experience now and I have some lionesses and I wanted to take care of their breeding and nesting. When a lioness is pregnant, you have to set her on a nest so that the cub is born into a safe environment. You can't do it when the lioness is hunting though. So that's something you have to 
keep in mind it costs five energy to attempt to breed with a lioness and lionesses could have varying levels of fertility so these are the things that i would do in a gaming session this was one complete gaming session it's a little bit over a half an hour long and i would want to play lioden over the span of many hours if i'm going to give lioden my all however as I've proved with this, you can do all of this in under an hour and still cover pretty much all of the bases. I really like this game and I'm looking forward to hearing in the comments what I definitely need to add to the mix or how you guys would recommend doing it. And then I think it would be fun to look at this again in a year and see how it's changed, how I prioritize different things. And definitely I wanna take into consideration everyone's feedback of how to play the game. But this is a game and everybody has different objectives. There's no way to win a virtual pet simulator. It's a simulation and Lion, Lion is a lion simulation with creatures that have finite lifespans. So that's definitely something you have to keep into consideration. Different people have different goals. So I just hope this demystified the entire process because I know things can be really overwhelming when you're trying a new game that has a lot of jargon going on and a lot of features that are somehow connected but it's not very clear. So let me know if this cleared anything up for you guys or if you have any questions and maybe I'll do a general light and Q&A session next time to just help everybody get through the door and start loving this game as much as I do. Thanks!